What is up my friends? I wanted to come to you today with a quick little video about Instagram advertising. I've been using Instagram advertising to help market the beats that I'm working on, maybe different songs that I'm coming out with as a musician. I gotta use the tools necessary to get the word out for the stuff that I'm working on. What I wanna to do today real quickly is I wanna compare what I think is one of the best ads or videos that I put out on Instagram and compare that with one of the worst ones. Um, when it comes to making content and putting it out in the world, you never really know how it's gonna turn out. You might quickly learn that it was a good one or you might quickly learn that it was a bad one. And this insight that I took from these two ads in particular have really helped reframe my mind on the different types of content that I'm gonna put out in the future. So let's watch the better one first. We're gonna take some notes on it and we'll compare that to the worst one after that. This advertisement is for a song that I released two weeks ago called 2000 Degrees with my friend Sebastian Portillo because we're in the middle of a you know, global shutdown right now. I basically took a bunch of shots that I had previously, combined it together for this video that I dropped the day before. So let's talk about that right after we watch this. I can be a sunshine. Just forget about yesterday, just forget about the rain Cause I'm drowning in the sunlight So baby please don't make it rain Cause I need you more today Than I thought I would Rolling stones and breaking all the firewood Two thousand degrees of summer best friends won't Nobody would treat you like the way I do Yeah, don't leave Get my daughter Best new rapper out and a come up. Hottest MC, I'll tell you. All right, so that is, in my opinion, the good one. If you saw at the bottom of that, that was about 20,000 views that were on that video. It got more than 200 people clicking through to go to my website that had the link for the song. Um, I got about 250 followers from this post and by far, I think one of the most important things is I got people in the comments saying, as I'll post them here, that they liked the ad and that they should watch more ads. Now, why is that? Why do I think this one worked out better? Well, I think there was a couple things. I think there were interesting shots, right? So if you saw in the background of that whole video that I edited, I had the timeline of the actual song that was playing. So the song that I'm trying to market, I had the little you know, portions of the song in the background inside of Ableton, which is the software that I use. Past that, the next thing that I had was a lot of different shots of candid moments about working on that song. So if you were paying attention, you might have seen us hanging out at my house working on the song for the very first time. You saw us in the studio working on that same track. You saw us playing FIFA and talking with our friends. I think the different transitions in that video were really well and were really well. I think they worked really well at conveying the human aspect, right? This isn't just something we're trying to sell you. We're trying to connect with the viewer of this video or the viewer of this advertisement. So, polished song, good transitions, multiple things to look at. I think that's why this video turned out really well. Now, just three prior to that was a video I posted of actually one of my favorite beats that I made in a while. Um, but after we watch this, we're not even gonna watch the whole thing. We're gonna take a couple of seconds to watch it and I think you'll see why this advertisement, advertisement didn't turn out as good as I hoped. So that's as far as we're gonna go with that video. For me, as soon as I posted it, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes after, I realized where I went wrong. If this is an advertisement, an advertisement is gonna pop up as you're scrolling on Instagram, it's gonna pop up after a story that you have just watched ended. Now, the first thing that you see in this clip is YouTube and you see the search engine. And I thought it would be cool, I thought it would be a good clip because hey, how often do you see the process of 
finding the sample that I was gonna use to make that beat and you know see the whole thing come to life. Well, why would anyone wanna see an advertisement about YouTube, right? Because as soon as I see that, in my own eye, if I was scrolling on Instagram, I'm seeing, oh, someone's just trying to show me a YouTube video. Every time that I see way too much text on an advertisement, as soon as I see a dollar sign or a product that someone is trying to sell up front, I'm kind of being taken away and I, I realize, hey, that's an advertisement, I don't wanna watch this, right? I think the other one kind of got the eye a little bit better because you saw the people, right? It was kind of hidden what we were selling you. We were selling you the song, but what we showed you first were the people, the special moments, the track nicely in the background. Whereas that second one, I instantly pushed kind of the process in a vague way, right? You didn't even know that this was a beat making video until about 30 seconds in where I actually showed the software that I'm using. Now, if this was someone that was already following me, they would know the content that they were looking for and they would see my name and say, oh, well, there's music on this, this is a beat making video. But if that was an advertisement, it wouldn't really be directly selling the thing that I wanted to show. So I think that is all that I wanted to really try to get across in this little video. It was a brief lesson that I have learned. What are you trying to sell? What are you trying to market, right? This doesn't actually have to be a physical thing that you are selling, but what is the thing that you want these people to do? With Instagram advertisements, this could be someone that will then proceed to go to your profile. This could be someone that is going to try to click a link in your bio. And we want to make sure that we're not, we're not just up front with it, right? We're not just showing a dollar sign or a huge paragraph for someone to read. We wanna get something that's gonna attract the viewer. And that's why, again, I think in that first video where I show the intimate moments, I make that human connection, I make that personal um, you know, connection with the audience where it seems like you're part of the process, really work. Um, whereas the other one that's kind of not disingenuous, but it kind of distances the, the viewer from what is actually going on when you see just a YouTube browser. Um, I think that was kind of where I went wrong. So I hope you guys like this tip. I hope you like this insight into my mind and what I see as valuable information for myself. I know going forward, I'm gonna be a little bit more meticulous with how I make my videos for Instagram. Hope you all are doing well and uh, I hope this helped you make some good stuff. See you next time.